Welcome calculator fanciers. Today we have an unusual calculator to unbox. My name is Matt Parker and here on Number File I will be looking at this Casio which is a well-known calculator brand. I mean they make other things but I very much suspect this is not going to be an electronic keyboard. In here is some kind of calculator although not in the normal aspect ratio. Very interesting and there's there's scant details on the outside. I mean look at this, this side's blank, that side's blank. I mean that's an entire, what's that, like a third of all the faces on this box are blank. The only real information here is that it's a one-to-one -one scale which means that whatever's in there is an exact one-to-one -one scale to what it is in reality. That's quite, in fact, most physical objects tend to be a one-to-one -one scale. But anyway, so we'll pop this open. We'll get our scalpel here. And again, we're gonna very carefully use the scalpel to just flick open the top there, right? And if we open it up, we can see, here we go. It's a Casio data bank watch. Oh yes, you can see that they have covered it with a kind of hood uh, and it, it's sufficiently transparent so you can start to get excited about what's in there. It's a little bit of a tease, but the main reason they do that is so you can have a grand unveiling. So you can hold this and you can lift it off and then there you are. Look, at no better way to open a calculator than that. And you have a display stand. So when you bring it home after a hard day of calculating on the go, you can put it back on the display stand. It's got a special handle there for picking up the display stand, should you not want to risk getting fingerprints on the rest of it. And there is a little spot here for the instruction manual. Look at that, just crammed in there. They have shoved the manual in there, uh, which if we fold it out, so we get uh, a variety of shapes, should you be uncertain as to what th those shapes would be, for Californian USA only. So if you try and use this outside California, they cannot guarantee it will give you mathematically accurate uh, answers. That's uh, very good. What else is going to leap out? Okay, and the rest of this is just standard instruction booklet, although in a uh, slightly different ratio. This is the widescreen version of the instruction booklet, which is great. So let's have a look at the calculator itself. Take it off the stand. Uh, this is here. This, this is for adjusting uh, where this is, it can be there or there or anywhere in between. It's quite nice. It's a continuous thing. There's, there's a uncountably infinite number of places you could put that. It's quite nice. Uh, and then there is there is a very finite set number of places you can uh, lock this into position. So I, I feel like, I mean, the main feature of this is the fact that you can attach it to your wrist. You can you can strap it on, and that is very important. Very few calculators can do that. In fact, I've got another for comparison Casio calculator here, and if you try and balance that on your, it's incredibly difficult to do calculations on your wrist. And should you be, you know, holding a drink or something, and you haven't got the use of this hand, and you need to do a wrist-based calculation, this is a terrible idea. Whereas this is going to go on quite quite snugly and firmly, and you just uh, slide that through there. Here we go. You adjust it to the, you round the, the, the diameter. Well, you, I guess you're using the circumference of your wrist to the nearest hole notch. You flick that in there, you slide that in there, and then you choose one of the uncountably infinite number of positions you can put that. Although frankly, there, it doesn't really move once it's on. So that's, uh, that's, that's quite, it's quite tight actually. I'm gonna, uh, it also doubles as a tourniquet. So it's got Casio in case you forget where you buy it and water resistant alarm chrono. So the chrono obviously uh, for time means that if it gets wet, then the alarm goes off. And then there's all sorts of tiny, tiny writing in there. There's lap reset. Should you be uh, you know, doing competitive calculations and you're timing yourself per lap, there's a date thing. Uh, SIG on off, should you wish to turn the SIG on or off, start, stop, alarm, on, off, and of course all the digits from zero right through uh, to nine. There's buttons on the side over here, so that one there is gonna take, that's just, a, oh, I must be in calculator mode. So let's do, uh, let's just do a calculation. So let's do seven, now I'm gonna do times, where's times, where's times, that times there, times. That's a six. Oh, that's, oh, right, okay, so I need to clear. Where's clear? What do you reckon, uh, is that clear? That's plus, that's plus, I'm adding, I'm adding now. Now I'm adding and I want it to be clearing. What's that, that's, okay, 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 okay. let's try again. Okay, so seven, it's point 0.7, I've now done point 0.7. Uh, okay, maybe this is clear. That's clear, oh, that's clear, okay, right. Of course, why waste a perfectly good, but that's been repurposed for clearing. Seven times, good, uh, let's do one seventh, times point one four two eight five. 
Oh, that's seven. I hit seven four because it's on the wrong. S oh, okay. So this is going to take some getting used to. They're not well labeled as to which one is which. I'm sure you'll get used to that pretty quick. So seven times point one four two eight. Got it. Five seven. Well, I'll round up to a two. Should we get two on the end there? Equals. Hey. Okay. So it equals one point zero 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 four, which I'm gonna. I'm going to allow, because I did uh, round uh, one seventh a decent amount, very quickly do one divide zero equals error. It just says E, that's good, that's good to see. Uh, and we will do one quick test of precision. So we'll do one divided by nine times nine equals. Okay, so again, it hasn't given us one, it's given us 0 0.999999, which, I mean, given the size, I would say, even though it's not very accurate, if you average the accuracy versus size, or accuracy per volume of the calculator, this one is still doing pretty well. Like I said before, it does sit very neatly on your wrist, uh, so it, and it moves with, there's an exact one-to-one -one match between where your wrist is and where the watch ends up, which is quite nice. And, and the big feature is uh, that we've deliberately got the model of the Casio watch, which Walter White wears in Breaking Bad. And so this watch is good uh, for both on-the-fly calculations when teaching chemistry or cooking methamphetamine. Scores for the Casio Data Bank Calculator Watch. For the display, I gave it a four. It's pretty small. In terms of functionality, a two is the bare minimum. Accuracy, five. Ergonomics, 10. I mean, it, it's attached to your wrist. Cred, infinite. Durability, an eight. It certainly fared better than I was, which gives us a grand total of infinity, which is an average of infinity. Because I'm not allowed infinity as a score, I can change the cred to just go up to 11, which makes a new total of 40, and that's an average of 6.6 .6 reoccurring.